Greetings from the far side of the galaxy, I'm Fury, your host of the most, bringing back another thing from a long, long time ago. So long ago, in fact, that I should probably reintroduce this series. The game Asamo is a lot like Fate Stay Night, or well, Fate Grand Order. They both take heavy inspiration from myths and folklore, and here's where I tell you everything you need to know about a certain character. Time's a-wasting, so let's get crack a with the next to Samo hero who I promised would happen over half a year ago. Alp. God, he's so round. You think if I threw him against the ground, he'd bounce? To begin, Alp's a transient from the world of Yggdrasil, the world based on Norse mythology, although Alp isn't actually from Norse mythology, but more on that later. In Tokyo, he's a member of the Ueno Guild, the Beast Tamers, a guild focused on transient research. The way the guild works is by pairing up those with problematic abilities, Beast, and pairing them up with their natural counterpart, Tamers. For example, let's use Lieb and Q-Sith. Q-Sith is the Beast, anything that hears him cry three times dies, but Lieb has the ability to divert damage to his surroundings, ensuring that in the worst case scenario, no one gets hurt. Alp's danger lies in his sacred artifact, of which he has two. The first, and most benign one, is that bangle around his wrist. It lets him shapeshift. He used it to transform into a panda, but didn't realize that he made himself too fat to take it off. Or at least, that's what Alp thinks. Lieb does imply that there's more to the bangle than Alp knows. The more dangerous artifact and the reason he's a beast is his snapback. It makes him look so fly that every living creature can't resist him. Kidding. It has the power to switch dreams and reality depending on the symbol shown. Facing the back, it's reality, the sun, but if he turns it around, he enters your dreams, the moon. He's actually forced to use this every night since Alp eats dreams, but there's an itty bitty teensy weensy little fucky wucky problem with that. Good dreams taste the best, but if he eats those, his victim is only left with their own nightmares. While he currently doesn't have a tamer, we do know from the Jurassic Summer Vacance event that the player acted as their tamer in past loops. Their ability to use Cthulhu's rule of rending to sever dreams meant that they could switch reality back whenever Alp used their power. The fact that Alp ate good dreams meant that he was feared and hated in his home world of Yggdrasil. That's why he chose to completely reinvent himself in Tokyo, turning into a panda and turning to rap to try and become more popular. Granted, his rap career is doing about as well as Vanilla Ice is, so I'm just gonna wish him luck and move on to the next section of the video. Alp's mythology. Unlike, well, everyone who comes from Yggdrasil, Alp does not come from Norse mythology. Rather, he's a medieval German folktale. I think the reason Alp is from Yggdrasil instead of like Tirnanog has to do with his name. Alp is the origin of the English word elf and coincides with Alfheim, the home of the elves in Norse mythology. Alps had a very similar role to fairies in the folklore, being the blame behind misfortune. Usually attacking women, Alps would twist their dreams into nightmares. Oh no, he's a misogynist. Alps were often compared to vampires not just for eating dreams but also for sucking blood, notably through the nipples, but they undoubtedly preferred drinking breast milk. Oh no, he also works at Activision Blizzard. These attacks are often called Alpdruck, literally meaning elf attacks. The nature of how Alps come into being is varied. Sometimes it's similar to the stories behind Volk Veslav, where children born with a call may turn into Alps. Other times, it's stillborn infants that retain the possibility. Alps were known to have shape-shifting abilities, transforming into animals and even humans. Oh, and before I move on, this is what an Alp looks like. Yeah, I get why he turned into a panda now. It's quite strange that Life Hunters turned this horror creature into a fuzzy wuzzy panda, but the connections between the two are visible. Alp's mischievous nature is likely inspired by the myths fey like habits. They even included the transforming part through the bangle. Hell, Alp's own artifact being a magical snapback is probably a reference to this portion of the myth. You see, in the folklore, it was not a bangle that let Alps transform, it was a magic hat. 
and the myth's propensity to eat dreams in becoming the blame of many misfortunes explains Alp's own diet and his backstory. And since we're speaking about backstories, it's a damn good time to transition to the next topic. The world of Yggdrasil is a lot like the Oceanic Realms, a single system broken down into smaller subsystems. There's the world of the dead, Helenheim, where the yet-to-be-seen Hel is from, and the world of flames, Muthaheim, where Surtur, the reserve representative, is from. Among them is the world of Alfheim, the home of the elves, to which Alp belonged. As a dream demon, he invaded people's dreams and made meals out of them. Feared and hated he was for leaving people with nightmares, it was his lot in life. Until he feasted upon one dream. One so bright and beautiful that he admired it and as such wanted to be like it. It's likely that desire that paved the Rainbow Bridge allowing Alp to cross over into Tokyo. In Tokyo, he got a physical form, learned about rap and dance, and resolved to become someone everyone can love. He joined the Beast Tamers, yada yada yada, and the rest is literally the story in game. Figuring out Alp's character took some effort on my part. I had to go back and flip through the fluffy Nightmare and Ueno event to get a better idea. The biggest part of Alp's character is past trauma. The way he tries to bury any problem he causes, blowing them up way out of proportion in his own mind. When he causes a collision of worlds in the nightmare event, he doesn't come clean. Instead, he panics and tries to solve the problem all on his own, keeping his involvement a secret like a kid whose hand was caught in the cookie jar. The rejection of his home world has made him extremely sensitive to how others perceive him. It's evocative of an abused or mistreated child who's hyper aware of how others perceive him. And his past trauma has consequences in the present. The centerpiece of the collision that happened in the nightmare event was Alp himself. It's directly stated verbatim, the collision of worlds was caused by all the regrets in your heart, all the things you can't forget. Like, when Lieb even discusses what to do after the nightmare event, Alp freaks out. What was his homeworld like? What happened where he thinks that death or jail are his only two options? The sheer level of stigma he experienced back in his homeworld for surviving has completely screwed his ability to not only face consequences, but to understand them. In the Halloween police event, Alp accidentally wrecks the festival he was supposed to be leading. Toji has to tell him that he can't arrest him because messing up a festival isn't a crime. It's not even that big of a deal. Alp's sheer reluctance to face people after messing up inevitably causes problems that don't need to happen. He's no longer in his home world. He's surrounded by people who are willing to just give him a hand. A lot of Alp's arc in both Fluffy Nightmare and Halloween Police are centered around Alp learning from others. He still wants to grow and change and be different from who he was in his home world. He wants to leave that past behind him. I think Alp's a really nice story about overcoming your past and finding the way to pave your future. And speaking of paving the way, let's pave the way to the next section and talk about Alp's units. Oh fuck, even by my standards that transition was bad. Oof. Alp has three units, two normal and one limited. His normal three and four stars are super similar. The three star is nether attribute in blow type and his four star is also nether attribute but spear type. They have the same first skill, charming charmer. What's next? Alp's gonna play Pokemon and catch a Charmander? After hitting, he gets up to 5 to 10 CP and a 40% chance to attract hit units by one square. While that second part doesn't make any sense on a blow type 3 star, it does for a spear type 4 star. Sadly, it still sucks. Their second skill is Wild Dancer, applying taunt to themselves after moving and charm to hit units at 20%. The charm's proc is too low and taunt sucks, so you can go ahead and throw this skill in the garbage, which is exactly what Life Hunters did because the 4 star has a skill evo. It bumps the charm proc up to 50% and gives them a 90% chance to inflict confusion after hitting, and applies taunt strengthening when appearing and confusion weakening to every enemy at phase start. 
The next skill is Dream Eater, and no, it's not a Kingdom Hearts reference. He has a 30% chance to apply Dazzle to hit units and gets up to 16 CP after moving. The final skill between the two units, Easily Excited and Party Starter, are basically the same, with a 4 stars Party Starter just being a better version. They both get CP when appearing, Glint before hitting, and Apply Drain after hitting. The 4 star just bumps it up from gaining 40 CP to 80, the proc for Glint to 50, and the proc for Drain to 80. His normal units quite frankly suck, but hey, they're both kinda old, so I'm not sure what you expected. Their art's pretty funky dope fresh though. Charm is his best skill, but the only way to boost its activation is Glint, which he already has. You could put him with Valentine's Ark, who can give him prayer, although it would probably be a better idea to just pray to life funders that he gets another skill evo. Alp's limited unit comes from the Halloween Police event. As mentioned before, Alp was in charge of hosting his school's Halloween party that he accidentally destroys. This specific unit comes about due to Alp simply wanting to get in costume for the occasion. Despite the unit's title being the Dream Eating Frankenstein, they give it the name the Fuzzy Frankenstein in the event, which is way better. The unit is 5 stars, either attribute, bow type, and its first skill is as follows. Boisterous Dancing Incubus. Who? that's mouthful? Which is exactly what she said. He gets taunt strengthening and then stackable taunt on every turn. He also gets evasion before being hit at 20% and notably taunt resistance at 2%. The next skill, Stitched Up Being, applies guts at phase start and fear before hitting at 70%. The next skill, Star Performer, attracts every enemy on the board by one square at 80%, applies Arger and crit to self and allies in a two square diamond radius at 30 and 10%. Infatuated by Glimmer is the final skill. After hitting, he applies tenacity to self and allies in a 2 square diamond radius and gives up to 400 HP to allies in the same range at 20%. And after hitting, gives up to 8 CP to allies in a 2 square diamond radius. On one hand, I think the idea for this unit is really cool. As he gets stackable tenacity, his proc goes up, meaning you can reap the benefits of those really good buffs in really huge ranges. However, there's also that taunt resistance, meaning there's a genuine chance he loses all his buffs, falls on his face, and dies. I also get that he has a chance for evasion so that he survives it, but that's only a chance for evasion. While I won't say this kind of high rolling unit isn't fun, I can't say he's exactly top tier. Because of his taunt gimmick and being the one who spreads buffs, he works quite well with a lot of units. Fittingly enough, you want to pair him with someone like Summer Lieb who can give him guts, that way he doesn't immediately die when things go wrong. Now let's wind this video down with Alp's relationship chart. Beginning with likes, Kuniyoshi likes Alp because he's cute and fluffy, and Licho respects Alp's desire to improve himself. And on the flip side, Alp himself likes Durga since she desires to improve herself just like him. Alp also likes Hote for his ability to inspire and entertain others. His guildmaster, Yuma, dislikes Alp, but Yuma's research file also explains that it's more like secondhand embarrassment for someone whose true form isn't animal like. And Alp himself dislikes Lieb since he's the only responsible member of the Beast Tamers who forces Alp to study. A fun fact about Alp to enjoy before you go is that his three star is titled Panda B Boy. B-Boy referring to someone active in hip-hop culture, but particularly breakdancers. Overall, Alp got treated better than a lot of other characters. He's got a rather good design, alongside two pretty good events. None of his units are bad, they're all at least okay. That of course means he gets Fury's official seal of approval. Oh wow, how long has it been since I last used that graphic? Just a heads up, expect a smaller video or maybe no video at all next week. Now let's get moving on to the Patreon shoutouts. For our 3 stars, we have special thanks to 87 Werehog, Deku, Zora Chow, Charon, Garon LeFay, Dragon King Yara, Unknown RC, Lightning Shadow, and Kayun. For 4 stars, we have Mickey Moon, the Kaiju actor. And for our Super D Duper special 5 star shoutouts, we have. 
First, Vanilla Flower, the ambitious dream eater. Then, Poor Mage, the summer buddy in the tree shade. Next, Sky King 64, the midsummer nightmare. And finally, Mahogasaur, the dual wielding summer actor. Thank you for watching. Do be sure to like and subscribe and donate to my Kofi and Patreon. As always, I'm your host, Fury, signing out.